Adding the parallax effect to your 2D platformer game gives it a feel of depth and third dimension on what is known as 2.5D. So, in this tutorial, we'll see how to implement it in the game. Welcome to this new video by the Gamesmith. Right here, I have a simple scene of a camera with a motion script added to it and the background is set in separate layers as per the distance from the camera. To start, we go to the scripts folder, create a C sharp script called Parallax, open it in Visual Studio and start coding. The first thing to do here will be declaring a private float called start position x. After that, public float and this one will be called effect strength. Then a public game object which will call cam. Then in the start function, we want to set the start position x to be equal to transform dot position dot x. Then we'll change the update function to be a fixed update, inside which We'll declare a new variable which will be a float distance and we'll set it to be equal to cam dot transform dot position dot x adding to this the effect strength then we want to set the position so Transform dot position equal to new vector three and in the x we'll type start position x plus distance in the y it will be transform dot position dot y and in the z it will be transform dot position dot z. Now know that this script can also be added to the y-axis, all that you will need to do is to declare a new float called start position y and then here at the end it will be in the y position instead of transform.position.y it will be start position y plus distance. Now save the script, go back to Unity to apply this effect. Now we want to add the script to each of the background layers. Now to set the effect strength to each of the layers, it will be like the highest value should be at the back of the image and the lowest should be at the front. So the first layer near to the camera will be 0 and for the last layer it will be 0.9. Now run the game and you'll see that everything is working perfectly. Thank you for watching, if you learned something new today give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always see you in the next one.